rain. Marsh. Hello, man. Hey, um, I'm just on the radio this morning, uh, so it looks like uh, they're a little bit uh, uh, confused uh, about things over there. Anyway, we'll just leave it there. I'm just going to carry on with the letter today. I'll upload these videos, the whole lot of them, there's quite a few of them. It'll take me a little while compressing them and uh, get them out of the way, then I'll get on to the letter today and try and get that to you today. Okay? Uh, that was all. Uh, yeah, I spoke to Pa and uh, Onero, and uh, but there was a bit concerned about me being up there talking for Ngāpui. Now I told him I'm talking for the paper, the bits of paper from British paper. Okay, that's all. Bye. So I just want to say today. Um, a little bit refreshed, not too bad, but uh, from my five days up in um, Tahiti uh, to find uh, a few things out of place uh, with the treaty. Uh, first of all, the signing of the treaty was there in the mission house uh, that I've uh, discovered. And uh, secondly, the memorial on top of the hill next to Hori Tikuri, uh, that I put a hui on for Hori Tikuri, just for him, because he's got a British title that Ma Ma Morris uh, Baker is sitting on that overrules all other titles in the whole of the country. Uh, and that linked to Refere for Manikau, British title. All your titles in the New South Wales and New Zealand government were born out of these titles, with those one single chiefs over the whole area, no matter how much you fuck up up to it, that's native. It's got nothing to do with legal documents and the money that's bought your car with and the petrol and built the house and everything, roads and everything, came out of this one chief title. So when you got Hapu and Pano, that's your own matter with the land, the bits that are left over, that have been carved up by the New South Wales Government and the Queen that's abandoned you and abandoned ship of Admiralty that made those titles. The Magistrate Court is what I'm interested in, nothing else, just the bits of paper that matters. And when I get thrown a question by Pa and Onero, that's fine, I was going to have a part time on this, we could have gone all day, it looks like Morris We'll have to get our own radio station, mate, and stick it up in your church house where you go to church every day. And when I come there, I had five days of church inside that whare you've got, the Ratna church. That's a high authority with a, a, a seven by seven building that can't be tempered with from now on, since I'm in that house as part of that history 
to that Ratna church, T.W. Ratna and his memorial in the grave. When you know about grave sites as much as I do, about land titles, native land titles, then that's a matter of British and the interpretation of those land blocks that you have with all those singled out and put you in one or another land block that you're fighting over to try and get settlements at 1% or less to your Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth crown. She's not there. She's not there. She's gone. Her Maori people, she deserted and abandoned. I don't care how much you say about it. You're stuck with that contract in the New South Wales and, and New Zealand government crown, their own crown, not this crown on this side, the King's crown. It's what I'm talking about, one single chief. One single chief. Now those chiefs that have got a deed title straight with a real estate agent of British jurisdiction, of admiralty and magistrate courts. The only way you're going to get from this country to another country, from Britain to here, is a magistrate court, not any other courts you're dealing in. Not the tribunal, not the treaty settlements, not the Maryland court, not the New Zealand courts, not the High Court of High Court here, not the district courts. You can't do these titles in those courts because they have no foreign policy to deal with Britain. You're, you're stuck in your own debt. You, you can't get out of it because this lot here gave you instructions to go through Australia and they have fashioned their own paper titles and split these crown ones up. Do you know what's going to happen? This crown one, if there's a fraud in here that I'm identifying in the king's side, acting surrogate king, it's going to swipe all those off as fraudulent documents. That's what I'm saying on the radio. It's all fraud. One fraud land title equals the whole lot of fraud. The Queen has jumped ship and gone to the EU Parliament and you're still honouring the Queen. And the treaty, that's got no end date. They have to give it back in the condition they found it. They can't go and fill in all those quarries that they've taken all the stuff. They can't put all the trees back where they found them. They can't put the river back where they polluted the Waikato River and the Waipa River, broken the whole bloody place down with pine trees. They can't go and put it back how they found it. So how, how, you're going to have to pay the bill because this side can bill you as a third party. That's what I'm saying. It's your own ignorance that'll get you in trouble. I'm saying that on your Maori radio. Now I'm going to get a Maori radio. Not a Maori radio. I'm going to get a Maui radio. And stick this lot to this lot. And you're going to have to talk with this lot still while we talk around the world with this flag. This flag that you're playing around with that's got no legal effect in it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zero. You can't do anything in a magistrate court with that flag because Peter Peroni is using it for their thugs and pirates that are using that whakapapa on top of that hill. That obelisk has got no end date on it. No date at all. It's just the whakapapas are like sweeping titles. And who's the chief on that mountain that you put it on? Why didn't they put that in Waitangi? Why didn't they put it in Waitangi where they said they signed the treaty? Put it over there. Take it off the land. That Morris can say that because he was there to speak for Hori, to Kuri. No, no one else. That he all went to treaty settlement claims. Who is? And I heard Pody Harris say it's bullshit. Well, he's right. It's bullshit. He didn't even mention that he came to the church and had the karakia inside that church, that little church at uh, um, that little place. Um, Oh, I forgot the brother's name now. Manga, 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 Nunu, Manga Nunu. I keep forgetting that name. Manga Nunu. That's a church there where Manahi has church services all the time in that marae or in that uh, church. He has his church. He's a, he's a local uh, uh, apotor or, or ratna minister. He follows his native church, not a Pākehā church, a native church. 
and speak Pereo in that native church. And we bless this book that I'm taking to England and no one's going to stop me. Like Poroho said, he's going to stop me. He can't stop me, Poroho. They already got it. Everybody's looking at it. Everybody's looking at what's the stupid people here can't understand plain English documents as deep as I go because the Rogans put them together, put the fellas on these flipping lands in the first place. How the hell did you get there? What authority do you use? You use the Queen, she ain't there. They're stupid people. She physically is there but the documents are not. She's carved all the money up and took it out and left you with nothing but debt. You're going to have to pay that debt because you're liable now. You're liable because you went the other way. You fellas are holding fast to something that's dead. The treaty is a fraud document because it's got no end date on its contract. You own contract. It's a no end date contract. You're stuck in it. Right? Tira Wakato here in Manuka made a contract with Britain. That's got nothing to do with you. This is a two party contract with King George IV in 1820 in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. You see, my family, Rogans in Ireland, put these flipping titles together. The papers that you can't understand. If you knew how that works, you wouldn't be so bloody poor and trying to settle for less than 1%. Dumb. Dumb. Plain dumb. You know, I don't talk for Napoli. I'm trying to help you flipping lot. Because I've got it in my head from my ancestors. you got your ancestors, but Waving the stick around and fucking proper doesn't make money to fill your car with gas and to pay your rates to these lot of thugs in Waitangi Marae and Waitangi National Trust that's picking up all the flipping money for the Queen. That's not there. How stupid are you fellas leading the rest of the native countries in the world waiting for Maori? No. You'll never, never wait for Maori because it was an invention of the Pakias inside this organisation that this side is going to clobber and wipe the whole lot of you like they did back in Honeheke, cut the flag down, seize the whole lot and shut you down. You have no native court up there. You're borrowing it from Taheke Marae Native Court and the Urupa, the title holder, the paramount chief, right on top of the highest part of the mountain. Right? That's how it is. Topoli Mountain, only kings up the top, not queens. The queen is down here, further down the hill. And Morris Baker's families are down here, right? But somebody poked that fucker papa with no date on it, and the birches, the birch and the roka, you've got a problem with me, and Hori Tikuri the title holder to Britain that made the titles to put you lot of people on this bloody land in the first place. The bits of paper, not the land, the bits of paper that got your house, your mortgage and everything, roads, cities, everything in commerce. The king of the sea did that, not the queen of the sea. That's the problem with you guys. You made it up. With the treaty, you believe in your myths and all of that on that rock. Sure, fuck Papa is right, but whose authority got you on that land? Who's, tell me, whose authority got you on that land and who's, who are you swearing your sovereignty to, to those bits of paper? You can't remove them. You have no legal power to remove them because unless you've got a title from British origins, because that title overrules all your title. We're about to seize the whole bloody country on that basis that you follow over here to get your debt off your back. Otherwise you're going to stay with the debt. You follow us go to those treaty settlements like Rudy Taylor Big Mouth and all those other Big Mouth ones. They are trying to keep that alive, that myth alive, instead of going real with the one chief. You see, Rahiri got his hill. Morris told me. There's Rahiri Hill, just up the road from Hori Tikuri's hill. Hori Tikuri was in the time of the commerce, not Harahiri. Rahiri, the king, didn't have mortgages. They had the mortgages over here. Right? You, you get that? 
You get that? The bits of paper I'm talking about on the radio? Radio Totoko in, in Northland? And pull me into that contract? No, no, no. You can talk for all that what the treaty says. You, you can talk because that's all you know. You don't know this side. Right inside those big block titles. You can only talk on one block at a time. And you can't talk for all the rest of the blocks in the country because they got international laws on them that protects those elite people. The only way they're not the elite is this side, the king's commerce, that let them in, the pirates in, to join you guys. So that's what I'm saying. I'm going to get my, our own radio for, for Morris. As soon as I cash this trillion pound note, you fellas going to get your own money. That's what I'm saying. You didn't come to that hui because you didn't think it was relevant. You didn't think it was worth it. Oh well, I'll make a ruling with Manahi and Morris that this is going straight into Westminster and nobody can tamper with this contract in that book. It's online, the videos are there, me on the top of the mountain doing a 360 and pointing out who's who. Now it's for you to go and talk to Westminster and identify who you are and say, where is your queen? They'll say, where's your queen? Where's your title? The first thing they say is, where's your title? You'll give them one of these ones. The little block over here with just you on it and lots of shares of others who are not from there. The trustees are owners of the land and not you. Here, the owner is Morris Baker of the blocks he's got back. That's his title, and no one can tell him to pay rates. You're going to pay rates over here because you're stuck in this lot. I'm taking the mortgages off this one and leave you with the mortgages on your titles because I can't go in there because the radio station, Pa and, and uh, Onuroa, are there to protect their interests and their documents. You're going to protect your 1840 treaty. Show me the end date for one thing and show me the laws on contracts. That's a contract you're stuck in. And I'm putting these videos together so that I've got fact-sided evidence. When I go to Britain, just like this, as a king, and put my hat on, I'm talking for the king that's not there. Because I'm allowed to. And I've got the documents that Rogue and my family put together. They put those titles together that got you on these lands. Show me where you got them from. Mm -hmm. Show me where you got them from. I can talk for the Moai statue on East Island because that's my Wano title to the whole fucking planet. It's standing in London waiting for me to go there and put this flag up beside it as real instruments of money that you fellows don't like money so you don't deserve any and will take that flag off you because it's not for you and the Maori government and the Whakaminia. It's not for the Whakaminia unless this side says so. It's a British flag. They can take it off. This side can take it off you. You see, because you're using it in the wrong way. You're using it in this jurisdiction and trying to think you can hook yourself on both sides. No. Bundy, no. The answer is no. Because I'm in charge of the documents with my Rogan and the Manikos and Wanos. That's the end of it. You get your own, you make your own documents and leave those ones alone. All of you. All of you. And these Maryland Court titles, we're going to swipe them because they're going to get rid of your Maryland Court titles and Maori. And the Manu Party and the Maori Party is gone. So everything with the word Maori on, is, they can get rid of. They're going to get rid of it because they own the copyright and the patent to that name. So that's you. you you're going to stay there. I'm not going to worry because I've got the whole world that's 250 countries with that flag. I have the legal right to take that flag around the world with Morris and his ancestor sitting right up the top of the hill. That's the title. Not Rahiri. Rahiri didn't have mortgages and he hasn't got a contract. This Hori Tikuri has a contract because his name is on the deed document of British origins. Argue with that. Get your bits of paper. I told you all to bring your deeds. No one did. Pody came to the church 
hoping to sign something. No, it's not done like that, Pody. You have to put your own hui on. I told you. If you want to go down this track, you put a hui on. This is for Hori Tikuri. Money has he's got got his own with Refere for Manukau. He's Moriori, chief that succeeded to Tera Waikato, 1820, in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. You see, the contract was, they sold this country before you even got on. They sold it. Because the British were here to take it, or the French. One of them was going to get it. Well, that's it. They're going to wipe you all out. They're going to wipe you up. They can wipe you out now. The new world order is coming in. I'm there to make sure that this king keeps going in Britain and Westminster over the whole lot of the world because it's their king's titles that made it all possible. And they're using this flag with the Queen and Maori to wipe the whole worst of the world out. It's hidden inside you people, you Maori on this side. The Queen's Maori people have cleverly hid the native title to the whole world inside Waitangi Morai with the ship of King William IV and King George IV and King George III, the father of King George IV, and King William IV, and Ernest Augustus I, the three brothers, and King George III. They've hidden their dirty business of the Queen and the Rothschild banks inside that marae, and with my carvings in it, my authorities in there, the carvings, the Moai statue that's standing in Dunning with the crown on his head, that's my title uh, on it all, and pa, that's my one all title to this whole bloody world. I can say that. It's for you to say, where's yours? To this country. It goes over this country too, because they put that crown in the South Island for the Pakeas. That's the whole title of discovery to the Pacific Islands. That's why I got it there. As Maui Crown, Federal State, Governor of the World, in Westminster, dual government. Already there, and the instructions in that book with the flag. There, that's complete. That's documents right through the world. Not just you. So I'll just strain you out, leave you there with your fucker papa, all your fucker papa, and I'll just pick this one chief on the top of the hill for the documents and all the money it's making and the gold and everything else that's gone with it that you can't change or claim. You can't even get the Queen Victoria Trust because it's come out of this chief's title on his land with your treaty over here. We've got our own contract. You've got your own contract. It's rubbish. That's what Pody's saying. It's rubbish, but he didn't mention anything about here. He didn't mention it. If I would have said sign it, he would have talked to the cows come home. But he's hongi. He's hongi, the Cook Island Tahitian. He's not Horitikuri. He's not Hori Tikuri. Now whoever's claiming Hori Tikuri didn't turn up and I told you, that's the end of it. Morris is the ruling authority right through the whole of Hori Tikuri's boundary area of British title. You can have your other titles in Australia, New South Wales and New Zealand, New Zealand Company here. You, you, can, you can carry on going, but you're going to stay, you, you can't get out of debt, you're going to stay there. This is going to carry on forging here with all the rest of 250 countries with that flag and Morris and Manahi for Moriori. The British have the Moriori title 1820-1830 and Te Rawakato Wherehere Manukau. And Refere for Manukau picked up that contract, transferred it with King William IV to that flag given by King William IV for him and his ancestor in the British title contract. So it was already a contract, it was to him and Pomeroy, but Pomeroy didn't have the contract. Refere for Monica was selling land that was already sold with Pomeroy. They had a legal right to sell land under Refere for Monica's title. And so with Hori Tikuri selling land that he's on, with his name on it, it's the same thing, no different. So there, that's what I'm saying to back up what I'm saying. I'm backing up what it's up to you to take it to court, go to court and lose. You go to the district court in Auckland and lose. 
the police lost, the landowners lost, and if you go to court, you'll lose. Try it and see how far you go. Anybody in the world, any Maori, anyone who has a fraud title, prove to me where you got it from and show me your deed title for the whole country and for individual blocks. You can't remove anybody off because you've got to go through international law and I'll stop you when you get to through the United Nations, you go there, you've got to go there on this side. Then you've got to go to the World, uh, to the International Court of Justice in Brussels. Then you've got to go to the World Court in Brussels. Then you've got to go to Westminster. And when you get there, we're already there. They'll say, sorry, go back home where you come from because there's a superior title than what you've got. And yours is debt. You're going to settle your debt with all your people that put you in debt. And you say, well, we come here for the Queen to honour the treaty. So they say, sorry, she's crossed you out and left you out at sea without a paddle. She's abandoned you. She's still there in England, but the moment we get there, she'll scarf it because we're going to sack her or hang her. i got to hang her because i got a right to hang her. Pa and Honoro, you hear what I'm saying? I have a legal right to hang the Queen on this video as a statement that you, honouring your Queen and your treaty that you made with that sovereign, and now you're saying you're sovereign after the horse is bolted, and you're saying you're sovereign, but where did the money come from? Where did all the land come from? Where did the car come from? Where did the roads come from? How did you get it? Go backwards and follow the ship backwards. And where does it go? Die. And where did it go? Manganunu, where your treaty was signed. Right? Referefa Manukau and Tira Waikato Wharehere Manukau didn't need a treaty. When you talk kings, kings make the law, kings rule, and they don't need treaties. It's only for mischief people with pirates in the middle of it that needs treaties to make laws and laws and laws for their own people, not here. The rule of law that made you all prevails. And if I find a fraud land title on Cook Street, you'll swipe the whole country because it's linked to you as third parties to this contract of the King and you are accessories in the Queen's fraud, John Key's fraud, Jerry Mataparai. Andrews, Fraud, the Governor-General, and Anne Shatnan, the other Governor-General, Sylvia Cartwright, Helen Clark, Prime Minister, John Key, Prime Minister, Bill English, Prime Minister. Now, it's Jacinda Ardern and Winston Peters are liable. Your legacy of fraud marches on with your Maori people and their title and their whakapapa that's on the rock above Taheke Marae, Native Magistrate Court Grand Jury. We didn't have many people there. We had 14. 14 on our register and five proxy in the family. We had Tim uh, Hainga. He's from the East Coast, Tolaga Bay area, where I come from, the Hainga's in Tiki Tiki. <coughs> and we had a representative for Moriori, Manukau, uh, title holder, Tira Waikato and Rewhere for Manukau, that's Mo Manahi, Parapara, Bohini, was representing them. And we had myself representing the Maui statue for the whole Pacific Islands and my Wano family in Raiate, Tapitapu Ate Marae. It's my title there and Rapanui to Moganui, Moganui on our land block in Tiki Tiki and Te Araro, and Higurangi Mountain and Toi Kairaka, his homestead on the top where he lived on the top of Higurangi and his five siblings. The Nazi bloke pinched it and threw four away and kept one. That's the offence. You Iwi Trust is getting the bill from me on this side and these paramount chiefs against you on this side, the Iwi thugs. That you have to prove to me where you got your authority from now. 
If you go sovereign yourself, then you shouldn't have anything of money or cars or houses or anything. You're going to go back square one because you used all the Queen's power of a fraud 1840 Treaty of Waitangi document and said you signed it at Waitangi when it was actually signed in Manganunu. See how devious you all are? You, you, you're going to wear it because everybody's going to watch the video I put on soon. And they're going to say, so, what do you say for yourself now? What are you going to say for yourself now? Now that I made a statement, you're going to have to make a video to counter it. That I'm untrue, what I'm saying. On a British land title that got your land titles here and cut the blocks up and hocked them off with the wrong papa, Right? That hill belongs to Hori Te Kuri, not all the other Chiefs, don't lump them in and put them in a memorial with no date on to who it references to. Just Rooker and Birch. What is that got to do with Hori Tukuri himself and someone like Morris Baker claiming to talk for him? And that gravestone is not kept. It's all, can't read it. it it's left there standing with nobody to look after it and polish it up. Nothing whatsoever. I said to Morris, get some wet and forget and wipe and walk away. Then come back and polish it up and then start talking to him. You see, we had karakias for him. We had karakias for him to honour him. Him. Rahili's got his own hill on the other side. Then Rahili should put his title up and his memorial and shift this one over there. Shift, shift it over there. Pick it up take it over there. Try that one. Don't use Hori because you didn't come to honour him. When we put a hui on, you went to the treaty club. Money. Money. Hello, money. What? Morena. 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 All rested? All rested? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on radio this morning. Did you listen? Uh, uh, yeah. Did you hear me? When? This morning, uh, about seven after seven. Oh, man. Yeah, radio Total. No mind, it's on, it'll be on video anyway. I'm uploading all the videos, but you'll, you'll hear it, what I was saying. Oh, okay. I opened it for part time. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, pa, pa and, uh, and uh, onero, onero. Yeah. yeah, so they were questioning me in Maori and, and saying, why am I talking, why aren't I talking to Maori about, about things Napui? And uh, they were saying, why, why, why you, you, you won't be able to talk like that up in Munga I said, no, I'm talking about documents. That, that's got a strangle on you. Yeah. And, and it was my ancestors that did it, and I'm going there to undo it. So he acknowledged that part of it, but he was trying to tell me what does it say on the treaty. I said, that's not my contract, that's yours. You see, I've got the, I've, I've got the, the chiefs that the British talked to with the whole area. And I said, I said, as far as I'm concerned, the documents that got all your titles under the treaty out came under this uh, Hori Tikuri's title. And that's how they sold the land. Your lot on that side sold it. Not just yeah. not, not the chief. The chief, he, he, yeah. the the gravesite's not even looked after. I said, no. I said, Morris has got ten lands back, and no one can do anything about it. You see, uh, because he knows he's figured out how it works, and I've got there and finished it off. And I said, the treaty of Watching was signed over there, not over there where it is. And then I said that Oblisk up there has got all the fucker puppets on, but no game. I said, now yeah. then I said, Jerry Montefiore went to England. Right, to represent New Zealand as an ambassador, and he went from this marae at Manganunu. I said, why didn't, why didn't they send him off from Waitangi? Because the British, British came in over there at Manganunu. You see, and, and he's he, he's he, he's puzz rather rather puzzled. He's rather puzzled that I'm talking like that from Nazi Pro. What? Well, how come a Nazi Pro is coming up there? And, and change things to Napoli. I said, no, no. 
I said, no, no, I'm talking about my ancestors that made all these titles with certain chiefs and from Britain, and I'm going straight to Britain with, with what I've found, that the treaty was signed over there where Jerry went, I'm following him on the ship back to England. <laughs> and I said, why didn't he go to Waiting and do it from there where you fellas signed the treaty? I said, he came back where the said treaty was signed and left from there. And see, they had a crack here for there, not there, because all the British settlers in, in, in the Taheke and uh, I said in the uh, Finunaki, the Russells and the Busbys are, are in that district there. I said, I was told good information about that place. That I said, I've never been to that Marae before, but I've been to other Marais in Napoli, but except that one. Yeah. So then, I, when I went there, I, I found a lot more that I was looking for. Yes. So now I said, uh, I, I can put it together. I said, it'll go online, and for anybody to challenge that title. I said, Rahiri is on the other moment. Morris showed me his manga on the way, way back, not far from uh, um, Manganunu. When he dropped me off, uh, uh, there's, there's the lady, Oz, Oz, why, why didn't they put this over there? Because all the Whakapapa goes back to Rahi, but no contract. No, no, they didn't have mortgages. You see, I said, the, the, the contract, they didn't have contracts in Rahi, so put it over there. That's for Whakapapa, not for contracts. I said, uh, it's sitting between Morris and, and, and his Tupuna. I said, there was nobody there to speak for Hori. There's only one, there's only one, and there was Morris. You see, so I took it as being, that's all that I needed to do to tell Westminster that I've found who the chief is to represent Hori and Refa Refa in Manukau in, in Afitu, Manukau uh, Marae, and uh, you for, for him. Those two, and that's it. You see? Uh, 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 I got shocked uh, and then I started getting funny and saying, oh, uh, you, you, if you come to Mangamuka, you won't be, you won't be allowed to say it like that. Yeah, yeah. You see? Uh, I said, no, I'm talking about documents, not the land. Yeah. I'm talking about yeah. the documents that got a strangle on your, your land, you can't get back. I said, then, I, then I said, oh, Kingy said, oh, I want my land back. I said, well, this is how you do it, Kingy. You see that ship over there? I'm going to go to seize it. I'm going to go in that marae, he says, it's not a marae. That's what I said, oh, it's a marae, it's got my carvings in it. And because Kingy said, those are your carvings in there from Nazi I said, okay, that's your land. I said, well, well I'll go and seize the land and that ship, because it's King William's ship, and, 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 and there, you get your land back, I'll get my marae back. You see? Uh. You see? And I said to this on the law, I said, oh, you can't believe it, that they've gone and got the treaty signed over there, and they bought it as if it's signed in Waitangi to take that title off Hori. Yes. Yeah. And he said, oh no, that's fucking away. It's a lot. I said, no, no. no, no. There's no mortgage in the, the title papers that hold the land. You can't get them off. You can't get them off. You've got to buy everybody out. I said, then I said, oh, by the way, they started talking about Charlie, whoever. He said, he's doing something like that. I said, yeah, well, he can't get any money because he can't show the title. And he was buying the place back. You see? I said, I'm taking the mortgage off. I said, I'm going to take those, those funny titles, those titles on, on your side, off his land and put the customary back to the deed. Because he's got the deed and he's gone through all the trouble to get them back. And I'm going to look after his land, the same as the ones in Auckland. You see? So, so uh, 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 you know, I said, uh, oh, uh, Pody was on before me. I heard Pody, But he didn't mention anything about going there. Because he was talking about uh, uh, Rudy Taylor, um, uh, and he just said, it's all bullshit, on, on the radio. He said, I went there, waste my time. I was outside, he said, I wasn't going to speak. And, I, and, and they came out and talked to him outside the Marae. And then he went, and, and he, he didn't go in, you see? And so they, and, and he says, he told him, and, and what he saw, that's what he went over there for, the Friday and the Saturday, why he, why, why, why he, he didn't come to ours but came to the thing on Monday hoping to sign something. And, and because he didn't sign anything, he didn't say he went to, uh, to, uh, uh, to um, 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 Manganunu. I thought, he, I thought he might say something, but when I went on, I thought he'll go back on and talk about it. No, he won't, because, because um, he didn't sign anything. If, I, if he would have signed something, he, he would have, he would have talk, talked about it and hooked up Hongi to uh, Hori. 
Yeah, but he gave it all to the treaty. Yeah, he went there instead. See, all those people went to chase the, the hui. Yeah. That's because that's all they can do. They, they can't go up there. Yeah. And I said to I said to Pa, oh, by the way, that Hori's uh, Hori's memorial is is it, got moss all over it. Nobody's looking after it. You see? I, and I said, oh, Morris is going to take some wet and forget and wipe them and walk away. Yeah? And, and clean it up. Because no one's, no one bothers. They just go to the other memorial. Uh, yeah, the one with the whakapapa on. The, the whakapapa is one thing, but it can't reach back into what's got yes. a stranglehold on the land. It, it can't get the land back. That's what they're trying to do. Get the land back with that memorial and, and the Treaty of Waitangi Memorial. I said, yeah. it's got no end date on the contract and the Queen's gone. Yeah, well, he won't believe that the Queen's gone. And you just won't, won't, they, won't, they, won't, they, won't, they want the Queen to, to match their documents to honour the treaty. <laughs> the Queen said, sorry, hi there now, uh, bon voyage, I'm off, I've got my money out of you and I don't need you anymore. And, uh, and, and, and yeah. I, yeah. And it goes back to your quarter the other day, um, the, uh, was it Rangatahi who said that the Queen was going to come and yeah, they're talking Maori, but they're not talking English on the document. <laughs> and, and, and Morris laughs. He'll laugh when he sees these videos because it, it sticks out of my. All I'm doing is, is making a statement so that our Cook Street uh, uh, seizure uh, stacks up. Uh, that uh, that uh, the, the private investigator he will know that there, there's no way out of it because of the treaty signing at uh, Manganunu. And not where they not where they're saying it is. They yeah. borrowed Hori, didn't acknowledge him, but acknowledged Ria Arahiri on the other manga that's only yeah. two kilometers away on the left hand side, and not acknowledge him. But they don't realise he's got no legal documents to go with his yes. manga. See, yes. and they've they've used they've yes. used Sir Hori and his legal documents that that um, Morris is holding on to. See, Morris is very smart. To go into into that church and occupy it, and 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 and, and Ramaga, you see, he's, 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 he's occupied the land. He says all these blocks, you know, they split the water off on one side where the village was, and put it on the block next to him. Then sold that off, you see, and then and then uh, and then the the, the the memorial is further down on the block at the back. You see, uh, straight out in front of the um, Marae and, and um, uh, Timmy's place. Yeah, you see? I, I, so, so <laughs> I've still got to draw that up and, and give it to the uh, uh, the private investigator with, with the with, and the lawyer with, with the pinpoints of the marks that British that Matapurai has gone ahead of me to claim yeah. to claim that memorial and the Fakababa with no name, the horse with no name, I call it. Uh, um, yeah, so. So we are, we are just going to put those uh, things together, uh, with the, the videos, and as proof. The videos are better than documents, but I'll do the letter today. I'll get it to you today, and okay. and what to to talk, and then uh, I'll leave that in your capable hands to yeah. to um, um, give um, um, Troy a, a call, and uh, and um, um, see if he can draft a letter. Straight to, I'll have to give you sure. some um, sure. um, um, things number so you can yeah. ring Aylet. He, he'll talk to you as an authority and tell him who you are and just yeah. send him an email through after a call. Uh, that'll be today. Uh, I'll try and do that by tonight. I'll get all yeah. these videos up first so that I don't even lie around. Oh, I, I, I need to make them public um, and with everything that went on there as proof uh, to fix that treaty signing. Uh, mission House. What's the name of that church? I didn't get the name of that church. Is it? Is it? What, um, what is it? It's a, it's a thing. It's, it's not a. It's a. It's a. It's a, it's a, it's a like Saint Peter's Church. It's a treaty house and the church included. Oh, treaty house. On that mountain there. On that mountain house. So it's um, it, it's it, is it an English one? Must be. Yes, it's a, in, a desk. A, oh, that's good. I was, ho desk. I was hope, hoping you'd say that. So there is, there, there is the origin of Aratana, right there. There is the origin where they went to live. Ramaka was in, in 
the Wesleyan in that area of Fidinaki yeah. and that's where the Russells were. It's all adding up. That, yes. that's, that's the missing link where I'm meant to be in the first place. But I've got, uh, I've got uh, dragged over the other way with Mohi back the other way uh, uh, towards that uh, Waitangi title. And that's, that, and, and that's where I've been stuck all this time trying to figure out uh, you know, where everything is until, uh, until uh, they booted me out of the titi and Morris picks me up uh, yeah, and says, I'll oh, come home and, and stay over there and I'll show you something. So he, he wasn't, see, others don't, don't want to know about those titles because it's too much for anybody to try and decipher. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at, money. Um, yeah, so I'll try and get that to you tonight so that you can have a fresh day to call um, Aylet tomorrow first yeah. and tell him you're about to ring um, um, Choi uh, to yeah. action the letter over. Uh, that you, and when you talk to Troy, say you've been in touch with Ayla. Yes. And uh, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, um, sure. uh, sure. I will go shoot across to the warehouse to copy the book. And um, I'll, I'll get on the bus and take it over to uh, Ayla. Uh, okay. The book. And tell him that the book is coming. Uh, I'll be taking it either today or tomorrow morning. Uh, the sooner I act on it, the, the sooner we, we can get through. Yeah. Okay? I don't mind that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I'll do the book today and, and yeah. have it ready for Aylet. Then Aylet, call, call. Okay? Alright. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Well, this money here, I'm, I'm glad I caught him on this video while I've been talking. What happens here is this. Manahi is a JP, uh, Justice of the Peace, and he's been in courts for years, I know, many years, over 20 years, as a, a minister in Apotoro. Uh, he's from Rangitukia, where I'm from, at the East Cape, Tiki Tiki, and where that magistrate court is in Rangitukia. So that's his area and my area of upbringing and also our whakapapa, the Mohinis, the Paraparas, the Wanoas, the Hainas, and so forth. Uh, so we are prominent inside the uh, Rogan, uh, judges and land um, deeds uh, uh, in the Gisborne district area of uh, county um, uh, to the East Cape, Poverty Bay, uh, and Dick Rogan in Horoera on our Marangaro B3 blocks. Now, Charles Hirschfeld, he's a German origin, is on our B3 land blocks in Marangaroa, in Tiaroa, Huruera. And so I'll uh, call on him uh, because he's got all these documents and he knows a thing or two about treaty settlements. He's been on for a long, long few years. Uh, so he's in my family as well. So I can call on him uh, with Choi. They both got all the documents back in 2012 and Charles Hirschfeld earlier than that with uh, Sue Nakora and the Confederation of Chiefs um, uh, Whakameninga. Well, now, if anyone wants to know about Whakameninga and the original documents, Mohi Managa started off the Confederation in 1985 before the 1986 Constitution changed. And it was Sue Nakora, the policy maker for Maori, that helped Sir Geoffrey Palmer fashion the 1986 Constitution of New Zealand Acts. You see, I know a lot about land title and the main Maori land court titles is in Gisborne, not up here in Auckland or Whangarei, it's in Gisborne, Hamilton, it's in Gisborne. You know, want to know why? Because the Rogans married into my family there and married into the Manukau's in Awaroa Magistrate Court in Hillensville. There. They married, both of them, John Rogan married Mariah Manukau in Hillensville or in the, the Hot Springs area, and uh, Haranui, Marae, Urupa, where Mohi is buried. Okay? I know all that because I've got it here. He's given it to me. Everything. Okay? I don't want to know about that. Um, right. There's people trying to get to me. Uh, so, um, 
I'm saying that our money is on the phone just a minute ago because he's living with his wife in um, on uh, um, Tahike Road. That's his original name. Is Tahike Road, not Horike Road. Tahike Road is his original name. Ma Ma Morris wants the name changed back to Tahike Road, not Horike Road. And so uh, Morris lives on the same road, and um, uh, Manahi lives on the same road. Now, Manahi's about 10 minutes away from um, the, the Ratna Church. See, the Ratna Church and the Methodist Church, he's just identified that church where we had this meeting uh, to bless this book, this um, a magistrate court book with King William IV Acts in it, 1837. Those are the instructions for this flag. We have the authority to use that flag. And it's flag, the flag, I say, belongs to Tira Waikato Wharehere Here Manukau, commercial contract land owner, in 1820 to 1830 period of King George. And the flag came in 1834, the 15th of March 1834, uh, from Refere Manukau, and uh, transfer from his tūpuna, uh, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau at Awhitu on the Manukau Marae there and the Manukau Marae at Tūtonga. Morris Tate. Tura! Morris! The man of Tate. Yes, that's Amelia. Yes. Yes. Hello? Oh, okay, that's all right. I just want to let them know I was on the radio this morning. I heard you. Oh, I heard you. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, because they're a little bit, they're a little bit, uh, me uh, talking and uh, I can't go and do that in, in Mangamuka. But they don't realise that uh, uh, at the guts of it, that the treaty was signed over here in, in Manganunu, not over there where, they, where they're saying. You see? Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah, and, and, the, and the memorial up the hill is not looked after, the hoodies, but they're using it with the other memorial with the fuck on it. And, and yeah. Jerry Matapurai has gone to England from that that uh, mission house, not Waikaki. So that, that rings bells. Um, yeah. that, that rings bells. But on, on, the way back, on, the way, on the way back to um, drop me off at the bus, um, Morris says that's where the... the, the Rahi's hill of Homonga is over there. I said, I said to Morris, so that's where they should have put the put that memorial over there with Rahi with all his fuckababa on, not on Hori's. They put it on Hori's hill because Hori made a contract with the British with those titles. You see, yeah, yeah. The same as the Reef of Monaco in in, uh, in Auckland. So that uh -huh. that's what I was saying to him. But I, I wanted to go on for Pato. Anybody ring in? And Pauli didn't ring. You see. He, he didn't ring yeah, yeah. to say he went to the church. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a Methodist church. Uh, uh, thing was saying. Uh, Money he was saying it's a Methodist church. You see, so yeah, it belongs yeah. to that mission house. It belongs to the mission house. But that's the legal authority to Britain is there, not Waitangi. That's the New South Wales in Waitangi. That's what I'm telling these guys, Pa and uh, and Onero. But there's a. Yeah, then they, yeah, they start getting smart and saying, "Oh, why don't you talk Maori? Why don't you talk Maori?" Yeah, and so.